What's up guys, Sal here. So Android is stupendously popular. Nearly 75% of the phones sold today run Android. The credit for this mainly goes to two companies, Google who built this operating system and Samsung who popularized Android. Back in the days when popular Chinese smartphone makers such as Xiaomi, Oppo and more were either irrelevant or non-existent, it was Samsung who sold hundreds of millions of Galaxy phones and made Android a household name. Of course, Samsung benefited from Android as well. The operating system is one of the main reasons they were able to sell those many smartphones. But combined with excellent hardware, great marketing and Android, Samsung dethroned Apple to become the largest smartphone vendor, a position they still maintain today. But now it looks like Samsung is about to leave the operating system that made them successful in the first place. You heard that right, Samsung is preparing to leave Android. Future Samsung smartphones won't run Android, but a new operating system that Google has been developing ever since 2016, the Fuchsia OS. Two credible leakers including Ice Universe confirmed the thing that whether or not Samsung adopting Fuchsia OS in the future isn't up for debate, it's gonna happen for sure. Samsung and Google are working together to make this happen. Samsung's involvement in the OS became clear when it started contributing to its development some time back. Back in May, Google went ahead and made Fuchsia official. It's not just a concept anymore, Google has actually switched over to Fuchsia for a smart speaker lineup. Interestingly, an old Bloomberg report from 2018 has absolutely nailed the timing of the Fuchsia launch, saying that Google will ship the OS on connected home devices within the next three years. And indeed, Google launched the OS in 2021. The 2018 Bloomberg article also says that Fuchsia will expand to smartphones and laptops by 2023. Will we see that actually happen? I guess time will tell. But it's gonna happen for sure and Samsung will be the first company to adopt this new operating system. Now some of you might wonder, but why? I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, there are two big reasons why Google wants you to leave Android for Fuchsia. But before explaining that, let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. You see, the market is full of VPNs, but NordVPN is by far the best VPN out there. I'm not saying it because they sponsored the video, but because I've been personally using it for years. I prefer it for its simplicity and that they've optimized servers, which means your internet speed barely gets affected. It will allow you to access blocked websites, unlock regional Netflix content and more. But most importantly, it keeps you safe from hackers and government agencies as it secures your internet traffic, encrypts it and routes it through a remote server. Specifically, it allows you to send your internet traffic through not just one, but two VPNs servers. If you're someone that truly wants to surf anonymously and securely, this can be highly valuable. It's available on Android, iOS, macOS, Windows and Linux, and you can use up to 6 devices simultaneously within one subscription. Go to nordvpn.com slash techtalk or use the coupon code techtalk to get a 2 year plan plus 1 additional month with a huge discount. The link is in the description. Moving on, the first reason is Fuchsia will help Google get rid of the most annoying thing about Android. When Fuchsia rolls out to commercial devices, it will offer Google something Android never could, the chance of actually controlling software releases on all devices just like Apple does with iOS. When Apple releases a new update to the iOS, every compatible iPhone gets the update simultaneously, but that's unheard of in the Android world. Fuchsia will change that by rolling out software updates quickly and easily easily, which in turn will help Samsung and others distribute new features and OS on their devices seamlessly. Second, you see, unlike Android and Chrome OS, Fuchsia is not based on Linux, but rather Google's own microkernel called Zircon, which means unlike Android, Google has total control on this operating system. This gives Google the ability to design the operating system as an interoperable software, one that works reliably on different device form factors, be it mobile, desktop, laptop, game console, or wearable. A unified operating system to rule them all from household appliance territory to desktop territory. It will help Google achieve what Apple has done with iOS and macOS, and that's to offer users a seamless app experience regardless of what form factor they are interacting with. Anyway, it looks like Samsung could be the first company to adopt Fuchsia, and other OEMs will eventually have to follow suit as well. But when exactly is that going to happen remains to be seen. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.